Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, Mr. Schnitzel in the house and as you can see here in today's video, I will be talking about this vehicle, the tier 9 collector heavy tank, German heavy tank, the Kampfpanzer 07 PE mystery with this legendary camouflage and this tank is really called mystery for a reason because it's really so so rare, 0.05% drop chance if you wanna if you will try to get it from mystery boxes level one one percent drop chance for the mystery boxes level two so it's really very rare and i heard some stories players trying to get this tank opening 1400 mystery boxes whatever tier one two or three combinated and they failed to get this vehicle well yeah is it worth it really to gamble that huge amount of gold and trying to get this rare vehicle, this German T9 heavy tank. That's what are we going to see here in this video. We will start to check out the equipment, provision, consumables, and uh, armor with armor inspector. And then I'm gonna go to the battlefield to showcase you some. T I got two nice battles with you just to showcase you how the tank is performing on the battlefield and then i'm gonna tell you in the end of this video my neutral and honest opinion about this tank all right so equipment go definitely for calibrated shells as you can see there 373 millimeter of penetration using premium shells that's just insane and that's uh, the first big win uh, for this vehicle we have a penetration of a tier 10 tank destroyer on a tier 9 heavy tank an insane gun a good dpm fast reload time really um yeah nothing to complain about the gun also the accuracy german accuracy 0.277 gun dispersion at 100 meter uh yeah make this con just insane good penetration great accuracy and good also shell velocity that's why i'm not using the supercharger but enhanced gun laying drive and with that we have 2.9 seconds of aiming time improved modules go for the enhanced armor i'm gonna show you in few seconds why enhanced tracks i'm using here the improved suspension with that we have more speed more hard turn rate i mean we are a heavy tank we are not supposed to spot that's why uh, i'm not using the improved optics and i'm using this for just more mobility Again, more mobility using the engine accelerator and the high-end consumables. We can use adrenaline, so I can um, keep my adrenaline longer activated if I'm using that. Going for multi-purpose restoration pack and repair kit and adrenaline as consumables. And to the provisions, of course, more DPM, taking chocolate and more mobility using the improved fuel so far so good so let's check out the stats of this tank on paper and with that we need to go um here so we got 2k dp uh, 2k of hit points about 2k 2050 380 damage per shot if you are using calibrated shells we got 10 seconds of reload time with adrenaline we have 9.2 seconds of reload time for 20 seconds so a good alpha damage not the highest under the tier 9 heavies for example compared to the Kampfpanzer 70 the other german collector tank but for that we have here a better dpm and a faster reload time so sometimes with precision fire we can go up to i don't know 475 or 500 damage per shot so uh, but for that we have this insane uh, penetration armor we're gonna see it now is okay and yeah mobility and rotation for a tier 9 heavy tank or for a heavy tank in general is also not bad at all and that's why i'm using sometimes this this tank like kind of playing it like a helium tank thanks to its mobility yeah this is our armor how it's gonna look like in front of uh, the e50m so a tier 10 medium tank so we are really pretty strong against tier 10 mediums and that's why this affects my playstyle. As I told you, in combination to this insane armor, good mobility and good gun with a, actually a fast reload time for a tier 10 heavy, uh, about 10 seconds, um, playing more uh, or if I see that my teammates go medium side or there is some mediums going medium side, I go with a medium because as we can see here, we are very OP against mediums and this is on flat ground. If you go hull down well, 
good luck to yeah penetrate this armor okay even let's take now the e50 will use premium shells we are still really impossible to penetrate in hull down positions the only problem is that this tank got only eight degrees of counter pressure that means sometimes you will not be able to hit the enemy in your hull down position i will risk to poke more and if you go out you will have this angle maybe and then you will be penetrated again so be careful about how you play in hull downs and don't risk a lot otherwise you will be also pent okay so i'm not saying that you are invincible but if you just say hull down okay like this using the edge degrees we can see here we are nearly impossible to pen only those very weak spots but yeah we're talking here about being lucky or not because uh, even the most skilled players um, enemies will also struggle a lot to ho hit those uh, weak spots okay so this is against tier uh, or let's say against mediums tier 9 tier 8 tier uh, whatever tier 10 Against heavies, tier 10 heavies, it's gonna be easier for them to penetrate us. For example, here, even you are hull down using premium shells, the mouse, for example, or a tier 10 TD will be able to penetrate our turret even we are hull down. And that's why be careful there against tier 10 heavies and TDs. Don't risk a lot because um, they will have it easier to penetrate our armor if, of course, they use premium shells. The big advantage is against tier 8, whatever which category, tier 8, heavy, medium, TD, well there we are pretty OP and uh, yeah they will really have huge problems to penetrate our armor even they are using premium shells here, a Tiger 2, a tier 10, a tier 8 heavy tank so if you are against, uh, if you are the, the, the higher tier tank, well enjoy the battle. Um, you're going just to be OP and no one will be able to penetrate you if you are in a hold on position on flat ground. Okay, it's look different on flat ground. We still need to be uh, careful against uh, tier 8 heavies because if they go for premium shells, we are again, we have some weak spots here and there. Okay, so in general, try to stay hull down always. Uh, if you see any chance to do some damage, go out fire a shot then fall back again that's how i'm playing with it in the beginning of the battle and then after that after distracting the enemy after doing the job of blocking damage and uh yeah helping my team in the front line i start playing more and more aggressive and that's what we're going to see now how to play with this vehicle let's go all right i got for you with this battle here in lagoon and as you saw the first shot on the E75, no problem at all to penetrate to this well armored tank actually with my premium shells. And yeah, look at the speed guys 42, 39, 32 here. Uh, yeah, we can go for it actually on flat ground, average uh, speed of 32 km per hour, or actually top speed of 32 km per hour. And that's really pretty fast for a heavy tank. And we, as we can see here, I'm in the middle of the map. Um, going front line, risking a lot, and try always to stay on those kind of uh, yeah small hills. So if I get pushed, I can fall back and play again. Hull down. Another sneaky shot on the E75. The Progio Louise is running away. <clears throat> He's feeling the pressure of the tank. And now we got the Optic 704, who is pushing on me. I'm not gonna run away. I will turn around and try to finish this dude. With the help of my teammates, missed my first shot. I think if I used here premium shells, I would be able to pen him. But yeah, he's still there. And uh, let's farm some damage now. Here we go. Fall back again. So as we can see here, we got really forward. This alpha damage actually a good and a fast roll of time. Okay. And with that, this allows us really to play a bit aggressive now using Adraline. As I told you, we have 9.2 seconds of load. No, sorry, 8.6 seconds of load time, even faster than that. And uh, yeah, use the, Adra the Adraline wisely. Um, try to use it when there is some enemies around you so that uh, you get, uh, yeah, you will be most effective. Like me right here, I'm firing two shells. Thanks to my Adraline, I was able to finish um, the Object 704 and now the TC1 MK2. Let's keep farming. Bruh. Come on, yo. 
All right, so far so good. 3k of damage. To now, I only got for you this uh, this battle, guys, because um, actually I played some battles with it, and I uh, forgot to activate um, how to say battle replays. Okay, and now I'm um, I, I got really some nice battles for you with the tank, but I just forgot to uh, yeah save the replays. So that's why this time for this review only this battle. But I think it's a uh, yeah, a good showcase here. We are getting uh, nearly, I think, after finishing the Projet Luis, nearly 3,500 damage. And uh, yeah, we can, as I told you, we can rely a lot on our armor, but only if hull down, okay? If you go uh, on flat ground with this tank, we got the lower plate, easy to penetrate. Um, yeah, so in the beginning of the battle, you can risk go front line, but stay hull down, show only your tower to the enemy. And with that, uh, you will block for sure some shots um, if you just show your frontal tower to the enemy, okay? A decent vehicle, a solid gun, a fast, a heavy tank. And now to the question, is it really worth it to gamble a lot of crates trying to get this vehicle? Well, yeah, if you are obsessed by getting a rare, a very rare tank in this tank, in this game, like the AE Phase 1 with the same drop chance, 0.5%, Yes, why no? Why not to go for it? But uh, in my opinion, we have better tier 9 heavy tanks in the game. The only special thing about the tank is it's rare. And this tank got really a special ability, which is this insane penetration, which allows you also uh, to perform good even against tier 10 heavies. Okay, this penetration, what we got here. Uh, using premium shells is just something special for this vehicle for the, got really an insane gun with an insane accuracy and um, yeah make this tank special of course this camouflage and this tank is rare but still in my opinion there is better tier 9 heavies in the game we are not talking about an op vehicle here in this case but um, we are talking about something about a good to a very good um vehicle uh, yeah, but, but that's it, okay, so it's nice to have it because it's rare, but in my opinion, it's not that OP to, I don't know, waste 200k gold to get this vehicle, okay? It's not that worth it for that. We have better offers right now in the in the, in the store. Uh, Black Friday offers. By the way, stay tuned. I will be going live and just showcase you uh, what you want as you wish any uh, tank from the store right now from those Black Friday offers. Stay tuned, I'll be going soon there. So as I told you, it's a rare vehicle, it's nice to have it, but in my opinion, it's not that worth it to uh, waste a lot of gold, to gamble a lot of gold to get it, because this tank is really not that OP, but it's rare. And that's it. It's all up to you now, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.